Hi there, today to make the most of our math block, we're gonna look at a shape lesson that you could use. Now, before you do this lesson, you wanna introduce shapes. I'm gonna show you how we quickly go over that. We read The Shape of Things. It's an environmental shape book, and it talks about how you can find shapes in the environment in your everyday life. So you could see that a circle can build that Ferris wheel, or a square can build a house, and you wanna stop on each page and talk about different shapes you see. Then we go on a shape hunt in the classroom. They each get a recording sheet and a clipboard and they go around and draw the items that they find in the classroom under the matching shape. So under circle, they might draw a clock or under rectangle, they might draw a table. And then we all come back together to talk about the different shapes we found in the classroom. And you can talk about, did anyone else find the same shape or a different item that matched the same shape and really get them naming the shapes and building that connection of how they see it in the environment. Then for our exit ticket, each student got a post-it note and they drew a 2D shape that they could see either at school, at home, anywhere in their everyday life that they can match the shape. And then this will help us with today's lesson of going back to our anchor chart of how we found shapes in the environment. Just like we found them in the environment, we can find them in our classroom with our manipulatives. So we'll go over an activity you can use for whole group. We'll go over centers and some of those activities for centers you can use right in your small group time. So I'll go ahead, get those activities set up for us and we can get started. For your math whole group, you wanna go back to that introduction shape lesson. So yesterday we read the shape of things and we noticed that we can find shapes in the environment. Who went home and was able to find shapes at their house? And you can go through, call in students, have them call out some of their answers. You can add them to your anchor chart if you have room. And this could be a great center for them to go back to throughout the week if you wanna put that right out for them. Now, just like when we read The Shape of Things and found shapes in the environment, we're going to read another book called Mouse Shapes. And they find themselves in all of these shapes, but they do something special with the shapes. They combine them to make new things. Let's try to match this picture and have students come up to help you build the matching picture. We need a square. Yes, it's a square. It has four equal sides. Just getting them introducing the attributes so they can have those conversations. Put the square on. What other shape would we need to match the mouse? Have a student come up, grab the, and they can say triangle. How do we know what's a triangle? One, two, three. Oh, it has three sides and put it on top. Just getting them exposed to the attributes and making sure that they're naming their shapes. Now, just like mouse shapes and the shape of things, we're going to continue our exploration of shapes. When you're at centers and at small groups, you wanna practice naming those shapes and looking at what's the same and what's different about those shapes. So I'll go ahead and get our shape centers set up and we can go over some activities you can use for your centers and some of them are perfect to use right in your math small groups too. So I'll get those set up. Math center one is spin and make. So we have our game board with the spinner attached and in the material bin to make the shape, we have Play-Doh or pipe cleaners. Just to make it fast, I use the pipe cleaners for this. You wanna spin, land it on squares. So you wanna use those to build it. You can cut your pipe cleaners down a little more to make them fit. Once you build it, make sure it matches. You can count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Spin the next one, got triangle, so we wanna build that. And you'll just keep going and keep building the shapes just to get more practice with building it. You can, once you're done with your pipe cleaners, you can switch to the Play-Doh or vice versa. Math Center 2 has two activities. The first one is the tracing shapes cards. So they have their dry erase marker. They're going to start at the number one and make all the lines to build the shape and trace at the bottom to practice. Once they've finished tracing each of the cards, they can go on to the second activity, which is the shapes around the room. So for the shape around the room, it's just like numbers around the room or count the room, but this time they're going to be identifying the shapes. So I do a hole punch so that I can connect my 3M hook and it's easy to hang around the room. So they see that this is the letter C and on their recording sheet, they want to color in the shape that matches that pizza. So we see that our pizza looks like a circle. So we want to color in the circle and you want to continue until all of those are finished. 
You can do just this sender or the tracing cards, or you can do this first. If they finish early, they can go onto their tracing. We just have had students finish this very quickly, so we wanted to do two for this center. Math center three is roll and graph. So we have our graphing mat. Inside the materials that we'll need is the shape die with the different shapes on it. This one I just cut apart and taped together. Then we have our mini shape erasers that we're going to use for the graphing. So you want to roll. I got a hexagon, so I want to look for my hexagon and graph it. Go ahead, roll. This one says roll again, so you just go again. Rectangle, look through, find your rectangle and keep going. And this, we just play race to the top. So whichever one gets all the way to the top first wins. Math Center 4 is Model the Shape. So we have our Model the Shape map, and inside our materials, you'll need a dry erase marker and something to make the shape. We're going to use pom-poms. So first, they're going to trace the shape. Then they want to use the pom-poms to build the shape or to make the shape. And just fill it in on all those circles. They'll continue until they finish the shape and then they can grab the next mat to model the shape. Once you're finished with your math centers and your math small group, we'll come back together for our closure. For this activity, I'm going to give each student a flashcard. They have all of our shapes, but they're different colors and different sizes on the cards. So each student has one in front of them, they're holding it. I'll say, if you have a circle, come bring it up to the carpet. And we wanna have them line them up so we can see the different sizes and they can be thinking about what they notice about circles. Then the next shape could be if you have in front of you, if you have a triangle, come bring it up. So they'll put it up. Be thinking, what do you notice about these triangles? What's the shape called? And have them shout triangle. So they're laying in the rows on the carpet in front of them. Once you finish them all, call on students. What do you notice about the triangles? And they might say they have three sides and you wanna add that to your anchor chart. I've already filled in the side so we know, but you wanna build those attributes to your anchor chart and you can keep building on this as you identify different attributes of each of the shapes. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, make sure you like it so I can make more similar to it. I will add in the description links to the materials and the activities that I used today and make sure you stay tuned for more videos of making the most of our math block.